Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this video shows you how to copy photos from your Windows 10 computer to a CD or a DVD. Whilst this guide is being carried out on Windows 10, the same principles probably do apply to Windows 7, 8 and 8.1. They also apply to Windows 11, although there's a very slight alteration, which I will tell you when we get to that point. So you need to ensure that you've got a blank CDR or CDRW or DVD minus R or DVD minus RW. There are also DVDs called DVD plus R and plus RWs. Now these aren't as widely used as the DVD minus R or minus RWs. There isn't such a thing as a CD plus R or CD plus RW. It's just CDR or CDRW. Now, what's the difference between a CDR and a CDRW? Well, a CDR is literally write once, okay? You cannot write to it again and again and again. Whereas an RW, you can erase the CD or the DVD and use it again. Now when you're writing a CD, if you want to use it on another computer, what you have to do is you have to close the CD or the DVD. This means you cannot add anything to it after. So you need to ensure that you're adding all the pictures that you want in one go before you actually close or finalise the CD. So what we need to do first of all is to put our blank CD or DVD into the drive. Leave it about 30 seconds because it does take a little while for the computer to recognise the CD or the DVD. Now normally you will see it's recognised it by this autoplay in the bottom right hand corner or in Windows 7 it will come up in the middle of the screen. So once it's recognised it in Windows 7 just close down the box that's appeared. In Windows 8, 8.1, 10 and 11 the box should disappear automatically from the lower right hand side of the screen like mine has. So then we need to just find any yellow folder on the computer so let's just find this one here and left click on it and then you'll get this window appear. Now, Try and find pictures in there. There might be more than one pictures in there, but don't worry, they usually all lead to the same place. So you, I've got pictures there, pictures there, and pictures there. Doesn't matter which one I click on. Let's double left click on any one of those. And here is my pictures that are stored on my computer. These are the raw files, so it doesn't matter what program you use, generally, your pictures will always come from the pictures folder unless you've specifically put them in another folder such as the documents, the downloads, etc. I want to send these photos to the CD or the DVD. So uh, I don't want this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the first photo that I want and then I'm going to hold down the CTRL or the control key on the keyboard. This key is located on the bottom row of keys on your keyboard and it's the one furthest to the left, so bottom left. Hold the CTRL key down, okay, and carefully left click each photo that you want to send to the CD or DVD. Then let go of the CTRL key or the control key, click on the right mouse button, that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, and go to send to. Now, if you've got Windows 11, you probably won't have send to in the list. You need to go to show more options, left click show more options, and then you should see send to. Once you've moved your mouse over send to, find the DVD or CD drive, as you can see mine is there. Left click once, and then, okay, so it will say to us, how do you want to use this disk? So it says, like a USB flash drive, save, edit, and delete files on the disk at any time. This disk will work on computers running Windows XP or later live file system. Now, this one seems more flexible because it does mean that we can add photos and files to the disk later on, but unfortunately, it won't work on other devices. So what I really want to do is we want to select 
this option here with a CD DVD player. So it says if you burn files in groups, then individual files can't be edited or removed after burning. The disk will also work on most computers. So it says master there. So this one is gonna give us a wider compatibility. So I'm gonna say with a CD or DVD player. So just click on the little circle to the left of that. Make sure you've got a dot in the uh, with a CD or DVD player and then click next okay so it now brings up the uh, the disk here and uh, it tells us you have files waiting to be burned to the disk so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a few more files to the disk first of all so i'm just going to close this down by clicking on the cross just up here i want to add this folder called fox so just move your mouse over that click on the right mouse button and then go down to send to. Like I say, if you're using Windows 11, you probably won't see send to. Go to show more options and left click show more options and then you should see send to. Move your mouse over send to, go across and down to the CD or DVD RW drive and left click once. And it will send it again to the CD or DVD. Now if we wanna check that just in this left hand column here, find CD or DVD RW drive Left click once, okay, and there you go. As you can see there, I've got a folder called Fox and I've got four images there. And I've got this little nag down the bottom there that's telling me we have files waiting to be burnt to the disk. So next thing we need to do is click on Drive Tools just up there, okay? And then we just click Finish Burning just there. Left click once. Okay, so it's asking us to give the disk a title. Well, it's given it today's date, but if you want to, you can delete that out and you can just put in what you want. I'm just gonna put in plainly pictures. Now, it's gonna give us a recording speed here. The faster the recording speed, obviously, the faster the disk will burn, but sometimes you might have problems burning a disk and you might wanna to select a to slower speed. In my case, I haven't got an option to select to start at slower speed, it's just four times. So I'm gonna move my mouse over next, left click once, and there we go. Now, leave your computer, do not touch it, okay? If it's running off battery, then make sure you plug it into the mains, but do not do anything else because it will interrupt the flow of burning the data to the disk. Now, it says there estimated time left, and it gives you the time in minutes or seconds. Now. Don't take this as being the gospel. It's never 100% correct. It always does tend to take a lot longer than what it says. So just leave it. At times, it might look as though it's stopped. I mean, obviously, because I'm only burning a few photos onto the disk, then it's not going to take that long. But if you've got hundreds of photos then this bit is going to take a while so here we go so it says performing final steps to finish this disc now at this point it's going to look as though it's hung it's going to look as though it's frozen not doing anything but believe you me it is leave it just do not do anything don't touch the computer don't click cancel it could take a good few minutes here as you can see mine says estimated time left and it still says 30 seconds, but it's going to be a lot longer than 30 seconds, believe you me. So what I may do is I may well pause this video, okay, and we'll come back to it once it's finished the burn, because like I say, it is going to take a good few minutes to finish off. And there we go, finally the disk was burnt. So it says you've successfully burnt your files to the disk. So those are the pictures or photographs that we burnt to the disk. And it says, do you want to create another disk using the same file? So if you want to make multiple copies of the disk, you can put a tick in there and then go next. But if you've finished, then make sure there's no tick in there and just click finish. And then let's just pop the, uh, the disk into the drive and have a look. And there we go, once it's recognized the disk, that will come up in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, or if you're in Windows 7, it'll come up in the middle of the screen. I'm gonna click on a yellow folder, okay? And then from the left there, I'm gonna select my DVD or C uh, CD drive. And there we go, there's the pictures. And let's just click on view just up there and click on large icons. And hopefully in a few seconds, it should come up with the thumbnails of the photos. Now, CDs do take a lot, lot longer to read than the hard drive, so it might take a little while for these to come up. There you go. And if I go into the folder called Fox, then hopefully 
and click on large icons there you go and hopefully I can see a picture there if I double click on a picture then uh, it should open up and there we go I hope you liked this video and if you did hit that like button if you think your friends your family or your work colleagues might like it then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines and if you haven't done so already make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button then hit the bell then hit all you can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.